teach you how to take these lines and turn it into this. Okay, start by taking any ruler and measuring 8 inches. Okay, and make a tick mark near each inch mark. So each inch mark should have a tick. And then I labeled it here for you. Each inch mark has its own number corresponding to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's the first thing you're going to do. After you've measured it, go ahead and draw a line going horizontally corresponding to each number. So this is going to be the proportions that we're going to use for our meal character. So from 1 to 2, what we're going to do is we're going to... There's also a 0, so you're going to start with 0 on the top and go all the way to 8. But I can't really show that in the paper, so I'm just going to... I'm going to bring this down. Okay, so let's start with zero. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to just draw a circular shape right here. Okay, and this is going to be for the head. Okay. Um, what I like to do is after I draw this circle, I like to just make a little plus sign. Just a plus sign. And make the plus sign going down a little bit, just to the, the bottom of the one. This is kind of going to be like the top of the head. And then we're just going to draw a slant going down and then another slant going towards it. So this is like the basis of like our, our head. And you can draw a little ear here, like on the sides. And there you go, okay? That takes care of zero to one. From there, from one down, you're just gonna draw an, two lines kind of towards the sides of where you have the, the, uh, the jaw. Um, if you want, adjust it a little bit. Like for example, make it a little bit thinner or a little bit uh, wider if you want, depending on your character's neck. Next, maybe make a, a halfway line between one and two, this halfway line, and extend it kind of uh, past the, kind of like a little bit past the ears. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of make this triangle shape right here, okay? This serves as the trapezius muscles, which is the shoulder muscles. Well, not really the shoulder muscles, but like the traps. Next, what you're going to do is at the edge of each trap, you're going to draw a, a circle like this. Like this. Okay. Um, and if your character is, uh, if they have like wider shoulders, obviously they're just going to be a little bit wider. Um, if it's not, then it's, you know, it's, it's going to be whatever it is. Okay. Next, what you're going to do is draw this from down here, draw like a dash here and a dash here, okay? So this is gonna be signifying kind of like our, our torso. And what I like to do is just end it right here like this. So we just kind of drew this line, this line, and this line towards the middle of between two and three, okay? Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a, two lines just going straight down, just straight down, okay? until three. Next, you're gonna jut out three just a bit, like this. It's gonna jut out just a bit, see? And then you're gonna bring it down, kind of like in like a diamond shape. And this signifies the pelvic girdle or the perineum area, which is kind of like where the groin or genitalia are. Next, next to each slant, you're gonna draw another circle like you did up here. Okay. Next, you're going to draw a line down all the way until the end of six. All the way down for both. Then draw a circle, another circle. These are the kneecaps or the patella. Next, going back up here towards the one and two, draw a line down until three for each area and then just draw a circle right before three. Next, draw a line. This is the like the biceps and triceps area for both hands. Next, draw another line going all the way down to four. And you can draw a little, little smaller circle here down to four, smaller circle. And then draw a, like a, uh, like a, uh, like a V and connect the V with A, with the line. So you're gonna draw a V from, from the circle and then draw like a line, okay? 
um, this is going to be your hands. And if you want to make hands, I have a tutorial on it, but if you want to keep it basic, just draw a small circle here and another circle, like a bigger circle here. Small circle here towards the edge and then bigger, bigger circle towards this edge, kind of like the hands. Okay. Now if we move down a little bit further, we have the, um, we have six going all the way down to eight. Bring it all the way down right before eight and then make a circle here. This is kind of like the feet area. So this is the circle for the feet. Okay. And uh, if you want, you can continue it. Make another V going down here. Make it two Vs and then connect the Vs like this, kind of like a slant like this. Okay. So now you have your character basically and you can edit him or her like you like. So the way I would do it is, if I was going to show you, is the next steps I would take, this is a little bit more advanced, is I would connect another line going from this circle to this circle, and then the edge of this circle to this circle. This is the quadriceps, and I'd do that again here. So these are your quads or the quadriceps muscles. Next, I would do the same thing going here, kind of like slanting downwards. And this is your shin or the tibial area. Next, I would do the exact same thing here for the biceps and triceps. Just kind of like a V going downwards. Next, I would do the exact same thing, a V going downwards for the forearm muscles. Let me set up just a bit, sorry. Okay. Next, up until here, this is like the chest area. So I would just draw a line here. So this is kind of like the chest. If you want, you can draw a little bit of a square right here and make a line, divide, make another line. This is kind of like the abdominal muscles. And then just make a line going underneath the chest area, underneath and above it, okay? Um, then you can make yourself like, this is where like the pants area would go. This is like where the groin area is. Um, and this is your basic skeleton of a guy. Um, if you, if I was going to go a little bit more detailed, you know, you can definitely add like a little bit of muscle musculature on the on the shoulders like this, just making these little curves. Draw these two muscles called the sternocleidomastoids. Um, definitely, you want to erase like some of these lines here, so you get a little bit of a cleaner like these shoulder areas, so you get a little bit of a cleaner look. Like um, obviously, the shoulders aren't like this. I would erase like this connecting circle. Um, and I would erase like this circle right here and this circle right here, just so it's more um, congruent. You know, draw, erase these circles so it's like, and then connect it so it's a little bit more congruent. See what I'm saying? So you don't need to, you don't need to do anything else. Erase this circle, erase this circle, erase this circle. You see, like, get rid of the circles and just connect them. So then it looks a little bit, it looks more realistic. So you're not going to have that. And then you're gonna you can leave these circles because this is the the, the knee. Um, but I would erase like this circle right here and this circle right here. So you have your character and you gotta build on top of this basically. You know, like if you were gonna draw whatever, like you give him clothes or her clothes. Well, this is a him because of the body proportions. But this is exactly what I would uh, what I would do if I was gonna draw a a character. Um, so then you gotta you know throw on top of it. You know, I have some hand tutorials and this is just a basic basic character now this isn't like dynamic poses meaning like he's not he's just standing there you know he's not doing anything so this is like the basic uh character and uh if you uh want to add to him for example like um i would just draw like a line underneath the ears and then just draw like a like you know like eyebrows right above this line at this the base of this area the base of the circle is the nose just draw mouth and then in this area, just draw some eyes, whatever kind of eyes you want to draw for them, you know, whatever you want to do with your character, basically. And, um, you know, you can give them some type of hair on top, you know, like, like this, whatever. I'm just doing something random, whatever hair style you want to give to them, like this. You know, just darken the ears, and then get rid of, like, all these lines inside, you know, you want to get rid of these lines. So you can see your character without having all this, all this nonsense, you know, all these lines and everything. But don't erase too heavy because you won't be able to see what you, what you did, you know. And here we go. Here's, here's this guy already, you know. 
and then you can just add clothes to him you know maybe he's wearing like a t-shirt or something um you know and then maybe i'll get rid of these i want to get rid of like the the musculature because he's wearing a t-shirt you know and then i'm gonna just do this get rid of like all the stuff inside And uh, there you go. I mean, you just you just gotta play with it. Do whatever you want to your character, and there he is. And uh, go ahead and please subscribe, follow, like, and share this video with somebody else who needs it. Thanks.